Camilleroy and Miradjuri teen Jasmine Wilson is gearing up to head to the United States for NASA's prestigious space camp in Alabama. I think it'll definitely like teach me to like kind of be like confident within myself, especially meeting so many like different people and just kind of like being able to like represent my like culture and my school and even like Australia as a country. She's one of five Indigenous teenagers from New South Wales attending the week-long program. It brings together students from different countries to experience activities in aerospace, astronautics and to develop leadership skills. As Aboriginal people, we're the first astronomers, so we'd be able to connect to the space side of things and keep that part of our culture alive and showcase our culture over in America, I think it's amazing. Hayley Astle is the program director of NASCAR that works to support Indigenous kids through school. They've partnered with Global Honeywell Leadership Challenger Academy to fund the trip. It's um, not very common that Aboriginal women have these sorts of opportunities and for NASCAR to be able to provide those. To open these doors and open the girls' minds and eyes to a whole different world Soaring to great heights is something Renee Wooden is very familiar with. The Tharawal woman is currently an intern at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Los Angeles. I am working on an early stage research uh, piece of work for um, future space exploration, which is incredible. She wants to see more opportunities for Indigenous women to get into the industry. So to me, this is like so dear to my heart, like these women are literally the next generation of leaders that the world needs. It's not we want them there, that we need them there. And for self-proclaimed science fanatic Stacey Buckley, she has big plans for the future. I'm going to get my Bachelor in Science. Going to NASA Space Camp really opens up a door I never thought I had. Kirsty Wellauer, ABC News.